So hello everyone in this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial we are going to see how you can implement motion matching animation in our character and those who don't know about this it is a new way of animating our character introduced in Unreal Engine 5.4 version but you can also use it in 5.3 and after this video all your basics will be clear about motion matching. So let's get begin. Here I am using third person template in 5.3 editor version. So what you have to do here simply go inside your plugin search for post search and turn it on then search for a trajectory and turn it on to and then restart your project. Once you are done come to your browser and search for Motorica AI. Here just register and login then click on documents then most studio UI plugins and here in downloads download for 5.3 and once it's done simply copy it and come to your epic games folder and here open 5.3 version then engine and paste the plugin here right click on the plugin and extract it here then you should must delete this file and then you will find that now it's successfully added inside our engine now come back to your editor under plugin search for motorica studio and turn on that and restart your project now go to your project setting under plugin select motorica studio and under authentication add your email and password that same one which you use for registering in the motorica website and now for this api location come back to the motorica studio documents and under get start go to the install motorica studio and scroll down and there you will find this api location simply copy it and paste it in our engine and now after that you will find this motorica studio icon here so if you will click it this window will just pop up and here it will ask you for a login simply login and then add your actor and after adding actor from here we can just simply generate any type of animation using this keyframe or preset mode and you can just generate this animation but i'm not going to waste our time in just generating the animation but i will just show you here that uh, you can just check this all things you can make it turn or cycle or rotate whatever you want and you can do this and you can just generate this thing so i'm not going to do it here uh, we will directly jump to our main thing which is our motion matching and now from here you can see i have this all animation from this motorica studio itself uh, if you want this i will give the link of this file in the description and just come under the filter under animation and here just turn on this animation sequence so that we will get our all the sequence animation here and now we have to do one thing we will select all our this animation and simply right click under assets action then go to the edit and there we will turn on this root motion and instead of turning on one by one what we can do here under root motion we will just enable root motion so that it will active for every animations then save it and come back to your viewport and now we will work on our character come to your content browser create a new folder and name it whatever you want then copy your third person character and paste it inside our new folder and rename it and do the same for our game mode now double click and open your copied character and change the mesh with our character in my case i'm using most studio character because i have animation of this character you can also use it or you can use your own character and animation if you want and change the animation class to none for a now we will work on that then search for a rotation and turn off the orient rotation to movement and turn on the use control desired rotation and under rotation rate make the z value as 100 and then again in character movement under general setting make everything a default compile and save it now come to your project setting under maps and mode choose our new game mode and under default point class select our new player now we will work on our animation blueprint open your content browser right click and under animation select animation blueprint and select our desired skeleton in my case it's more studio skeleton you can go on with your own character name it whatever you want and double click to open it now come to your event graph here search for a node owning actor and from return value cast to our player here i forgot one thing under your players blueprint add a new character trajectory component now come back to your animation blueprint and from this node get our character trajectory and promote this to a variable and connect it with our execution pin compile and save this and come to your animation graph here search for a node motion matching don't confuse with the motion match and here we cannot directly connect over this variable so delete it and select our motion matching node and under details panel uh, in this trajectory select our character trajectory search for a pose history and connect it with our output pose result compile and save it and come to your players blueprint and under animation class select our 
just created animation blueprint compile and save it now we will work on our motion database right click on your content browser in animation under motion matching select our motion database config name it whatever you want and double click to open it here under skeleton select our character mesh and leave it like this for just now now again come to your content browser under animation in motion matching select motion matching database name it whatever you want and double click to open it once it's open under config select our recently created motion matching data config now open your content browser turn on the animation sequence filter and select our all animation drag and drop them here now open your animation blueprint under our this motion matching node under database select our recently created database and compile and save it before testing it make sure under world setting make our game mode overwrite as our recently created game mode which is our bp mm game mode and there we can see that it's uh, yeah it's not working because there is some problem with our root motion so let's come and fix it inside our animation blueprint under class default and root motion make it root motion for everything and now let's give it a try so there we can see See that yeah our root motion is fixed but now we can see that our inputs are not working well so we have to fix this so open your motion matching database config go under channels then under trajectory expand the index and there you will find some samples uh, and after expanding samples you will find some more index so under index 0 under flex turn on the velocity position velocity direction facing direction and turn off the position x y under index 1 turn on the velocity position velocity direction facing direction only under index 2 turn on the velocity and facing direction only and under index 3 turn on the position only now come to your animation blueprint select motion matching node under details make the search time as 0.5 and pose reset history as 5 compile and save it and let's give it a try and here we can see that it's working absolutely fine so you can see that our movements are very smooth and it's really taking our inputs very smoothly so yeah that's enough for this video i have to show you one more thing if you will write a dot character trajectory one in your command then there you will find this line which uh, you have often find in the motion matching videos so that's how you can bring them and if you want to remove it then you just have to write a dot character trajectory zero and this line will disappear so that's enough for this video if you have any query related to this can ask me in the comment section and make sure to join our discord server for more updates bye bye <laughs>